Hey everybody, today we're going to take the factory extruder from the Ender 3 and we're going to be replacing it with the CME CNC Easy R extruder. My name's Jim and this is the Edge of Tech. So recently we went down to Murph and while we were there we were lucky enough to get a tour of the CME CNC factory. They make everything there from printers all the way down to this Easy R extruder. And that's what we're going to be replacing on the Ender 3 today. So everybody knows that the extruder that comes on the Ender 3 isn't the best. And most of us just use it until it wears out or it starts skipping. That's where this Easy R extruder comes in. This thing is very high quality and it allows the PTFE tubing to go all the way up into the center. So it's almost completely, totally enclosed. So you can use almost any filament in here, including the very flexible TPU. We're going to start the replacement, so let's do it. So the first thing I did was I heated up my Ender 3 and I pulled the filament out. That way we have a completely clear extruder. The next thing we're going to do is go ahead and carefully push your gantry down and then turn your machine like this because we're going to be working right here on the extruder. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and take off the old PTFE fitting from your stock Ender 3. So remove that clip, take your wrench that came with the Ender 3 and go ahead and just remove it. You can pull your PTFE tube if you need to, but just go ahead and remove that just like that. So now what we want to do is go ahead and remove this cable out of the side. Take our Allen wrench that came with the kit and go ahead and just remove this bolt here. And this is actually going to remove this whole swing arm. There we go. So once you get it removed, just take that whole arm out. It, this, the spring is going to come as well. And now what you're left with is the three bolts, one, two, three, that hold the stepper motor up. Then what we need to do is also grab the little bit smaller Allen wrench that came with the kit and just I'm just going to loosen all three of these up real quick. Then what you want to do is go ahead and take the grub screws out of the gear. So we'll just loosen those up with the also with the Allen wrench that came with the kit and we'll go ahead and remove that just like this. And we're going to take our other Allen wrench and start removing all three of these. Now, when you get to the third one, you want to be very careful because this is what holds the stepper motor up. So get your first one out like that. Get your second one out. Now we have two out and go ahead and hold the bottom while you're taking the third one out because the stepper motor will fall and you don't want that to happen. Just like this. And we can set the stepper motor down on the bed. Awesome. Pull that bolt out and this whole top plate will come off. This whole plastic plate. Just like that. Okay, now that we got the old extruder off, let's go through what we need to put this on the Ender 3. We need the Easy R extruder itself. We need the twist knob. We need a, the Allen wrench that came with the kit. And that's going to take the grub screw out of the gear. Just like that. We need four of these screws and it's the middle screw. It's not the smallest, but it's not the largest one. And we also need uh, this clip right here. So now that we know this is clear, the old one's gone and you know what you need for the new one. We need to first cut a zip tie that's going to be right there. I've already cut it, but I forgot to put it in the video. So go ahead and cut that zip tie make sure that's gone. And be careful because once you cut that zip tie, this whole plastic piece could come off and you don't want that to happen. So. I got a screw, I just pushed it right into this corner here, right there. And I'm going to take another one and push it into the opposite corner down here. So I put these two screws in just so I could set it here uh, and hopefully it won't fall apart on us. Then what you want to do is go ahead and take your stepper motor and push it up through the center. And now let's go ahead and tighten this. Phillips head down, get it down into that stepper motor so it holds itself up now. 
I'm not going to tighten them fully. I'm just going to get them just, just to about tight, just like that. Then I'm going to go over to this corner here where I started the other one, and I'm going to do the same thing. Once you get through that hole, go ahead and tighten it on. You can see that plastic cover tightens itself down once you get those two screws to hold it. Then what you want to do is take the other two screws and put those in. And not all the way tight, but just two. And then put the last one in here. And you want to make sure everything is straight. I like to twist mine just a little bit out like that. So it pulls it out from the, the Z-Rod a little bit. So I'm going to hold it like this. And then I'm going to go ahead and tighten those four screws down. And make sure they are good and tight. There we go. Now we're going to go on to the next step. During the next step, what we want to do is go ahead and loosen the grub screw with the Allen wrench that's included. And just make sure it's loose enough that it's going to go on and, and slide onto the shaft. So we're going to take and loosen that up just like that. Then we're going to put the gear here straight down like this. So you'll see this part up top and the smooth part down. One thing to note, you want to turn your shaft so that the gear, there we go, so that the gear goes on like that. The flat part is in the back here. And what you don't want is this grub screw tightening into the flat part. So you want to push this down now, just like that. And sometimes it's a little bit difficult, but there we go. If you squeeze this in, it'll actually let it go down a little bit further, just like that. So now this part is a little bit tricky. We need to line up that uh, geared path there with the pulley on the other side and the filament path here. So what I'm gonna do is take a piece of filament, I'm gonna push it in, give it a little squeeze. So I'm just gonna go back and forth here and let it line itself up and make sure it's gripping good on that gear. Once it is, go ahead and squeeze and pull your filament out. Then we're going to take that uh, small Allen wrench from the kit and we're going to go right in here. And we're going to go ahead and tighten your grub screw up. So don't strip it, but make sure it's tight. So your gear here should be lined up now and that's perfect. Let's go on to the next step. So the next thing you want to do is go ahead and take your clip and put it on the PTFE tubing like that. Make sure your PTFE tubing is cut straight. And what I like to do is take a small screwdriver and just kind of twist it in the hole a little bit to open it up just a hair. Not too much or it won't fit in the fitting. Then go ahead and take your PTFE tubing and push it all the way in and it should go all the way up to here. So all the way in like that. Take your clip here, once you know it's in, and bend it in half, and put it right behind that coupler so that coupler stays out. And you'll see that right in here. So this is gonna act as a clip to hold that coupler out so your PTFE tubing can't come back out. Sometimes it is tricky like you're seeing here, but that's okay. Just keep trying and you'll get it in just like that. And now your PTFE tubing is not going anywhere. So I just wanted to change camera angles real quick to show you how far that goes in. It goes all the way into there and it stops when it gets all the way in. So that's how far you need to push it in. The next thing you want to do is grab the knob and go ahead and find the flat part and push your knob on just like that. And that will allow you to turn the filament in and out just like this. Give your handle a couple of squeezes, make sure everything's lined up. And that's it, you're done. Okay, so after I got this installed, I noticed that I'm still loose, even though all those screws are tight, I'm loose on this bracket and we don't want that. So let me show you how to fix that. Okay, so if this is loose and you have all the screws tight, 
what you need to do is go ahead and take out all the screws again and hold the extruder because it is going to fall out the bottom. You need to pull the handle off just like that and it's going to fall out the bottom. Then what you want to do is grab the little washers that came with the kit. Now we didn't use these originally but I'm going to have to now. So we're going to take the four washers like that and we're going to go ahead and we're going to have to put them underneath here carefully. Um, put them underneath between the frame and the stepper motor. Keep in mind when you take this off this top plastic is going to be loose. So go ahead and if you can carefully put those washers on there. And then they're not going to stay on very easily uh, because well because gravity. <laughs> but go ahead and get those on. The other way you can do it is you can try to set them on here and raise it up. Um, that it's just it's a tricky way to do this but we're going to have to put them in. So once you get the washers on it's very tight. So all you got to do is throw your handle back on and you're good to go. So that's it. You've now installed the CME CNC Easy R extruder on the Ender 3. You're good to go. A couple of things to note. After this video, you'll want to go make sure your E steps are correct. So you want to tune those using one of my other videos below. But other than that, you should be printing great. I hope you learned something today. And as always, keep printing. Hey everybody, if you liked the video, please click the like button. If you want to see more, click the subscribe button below. And as always, click that little bell if you want to be notified when the next great video comes out. You guys have a good one.